Today we talked about the chronic sharing guidance. In the previous lecture, we have talked about we have talked about the acute sharing guidance. Now it's about the chronic sharing. My name is Dr. Harvey Zani from Pakistan, from the Hamilton Medical College. Now, what is the chronic sharing guidance? Basically, it is a habit problem of the medical realm of the sharing and serious mucinous glands as well and some epithelial lymphoid follicles and even the muscular cord as well as the sharing. But we have divided the chronic pharyngitis into two types the chronic cateral pharyngitis and chronic hypertrophic pharyngitis is also called the venule pharyngitis. You can see here the chronic pharyngitis. And hypertrophy, hypertrophy as the meters. You can see here the chronic pharyngitis. There is the hypertrophy of the pyramidal plant and the meters are the pharynx. The hypertrophy means the increase very large when hypertrophy means if the cell is very large then the cell becomes very thick and large when but not divided the beginning of the cell is not in hypertrophy the leaches become very small now what are the some physiologies of the chronic pharyngitis? Here are some persistent infections in the neighborhood like in the chronic sinuses, sinus cycles, the pool and discharge. It constantly trickles down the cervix and provides the constant source of infection. May cause the hypertrophy of the lateral pharyngeal band. The mouth breathing. Breathing through the mouth exposes the pharynx to air. It has not been filtered, humidified, and adjusted to the body temperature, making it more susceptible to the infection. The mouth breathing is due to the obstruction of the mouth. And the protrusion teeth, which to prevent the opposition of the, you know, the, the obstruction nasal pharynx, the protruding teeth, which prevent the opposition of the lips and habitual without any organic part. Another big chronic condition is you know, excessive smoking, chewing up the potato, and the hand, the heavy drinking. Highly effective. Under uh, the environmental condition, the smoky or the dust environment are written with industrial fumes. The quality wise production as well, you know, excessive use of wise or quality wise production seen in the certain profession or in the pharyngeal neurosis, where the person resorts to constant throat clearing, hawking, or snorting. Damage that may cause the chronic pharyngitis, especially of the hypertrophic variety. Now, some of the symptoms or the symptoms produced in the chronic pharyngitis, discomfort of the pain in the throat. In the acute pharyngitis, we have nothing about the much pain, but here in the chronic pharyngitis, there is some pain as well. And some foreign body senses in throat patient has a constant desire to swallow or clear it. The throat to get rid of the soil body. The quietness of the bite. The patient can't speak for long. He has to make a new effort to speak as throat starts breathing. The wife may also lose its quality in the even trait. The health bigger than throat is regular. The standard typical is that it's already irritable. So, the 
Nerd e opinado na última aula que ele disse, nesse mapa que é o Jerry. Now, they have some signs, they have said that the chronic pharyngitis is a habit in two types as well. The chronic cateroid pharyngitis, the chronic hypertrophic, or we can say the granular pharyngitis. The chronic cateroid pharyngitis, it is a condition of posterior pharyngitis bar, which in your plan of gastric and Pressure pillars may be also taken and some increase the music frequency and cover the pharyngeal nature. Now we can see some granular pharyngitis. In granular pharyngitis, the pharyngeal wall appears thick and ordinary. Pharyngeal is the nature of the anti-dilated test. Here you can see some difference between the chronic cateroidal and the granular pharyngitis. The granular pharyngitis, as you can see, the posterior pharyngeal valve has stored sedate with reddish nudules. This is the diagnostic point of the granular pharyngitis. You should remember this. These nodules are due to hypertrophy of subvisceral lymphoid follicles, normally seen in the pharynx. The lateral pharyngeal can become hypertrophic. Okay. The uvula may also elongate and appear ordinary. There are some differences between the chronic cateroidal pharyngitis and the granular pharyngitis. There is the engorgement of vessels, there is the dilation of the vessels. In the cateroidal, you can see here, there is nothing about the radius, radius nodule. But here in the granular pharyngitis, you can see. The reddish nodule is present, which is the diagnostic point for the general pharyngitis. You can see here in the acute cerebral acceptable pharyngitis. You can see here some point posterior cerebral valve with involvement of the vessel. But you can not see her clear about the engorgement of vessel. But you can see some about thickening. There is thickening as well. You will have to see some part of the uvula as well. Some of the time the vessel falls, some of the time the part as well. So some thickening can come to the vessel. You can see her in the granular storage garden. The granular storage garden. The granular garden. Stand to the cathedral. Stand to the cathedral. I will be considered to be cathedral. But in this edition, you can see that on the other side, the other side is always become reddish nodule. Reddish nodule. I will be on reddish nodule as well. Dead fly. Some reddish nodule. See here, I show you I have some reddish nodules. In the typical pharyngitis, there is no atom reddish nodules. Date, date flat, this reddish nodule is trended to call the granular pharyngitis. Some granular flat problems, you know, is here at the reddish nodules. Some, the granular pharyngitis. Here, some new nodules are due to some hypertrophy. I will substitute the lump by follicles, which is normally seen in the pharynx. And some lateral pharyngeal bands become hypertrophic as well. You can see that. Okay. And the jugular may also be elongated in a period of 30 meters. You can see here, jugular, 30 meters. It becomes 30 meters. Now, what is the treatment of the chronic pharyngitis? In every case of the chronic pharyngitis, the relationship is between the problem and the irritability. The white stress in the seed crop is very essential for the dose and quality of white protection. In hawking and the clearing and the throat frequently or any other such habit should be stopped. The warm saline gargles, especially in the morning, are 
choosing and leaving his comfort and understand maybe applied to telling the people the cartwheel of the plumpfield journey is without its magic force the thought is paid with local anesthetic and the renewed or surge in stand for 25 percent silver nitrate and electro cartwheel are the diatomic acknowledged Now some important topics about syringitis is a topic syringitis is that it has some history with chronic syringitis. Now what is a topic syringitis is a form of chronic syringitis. Human patients have atrophic glands. Extending mucus along with its mucus glands goes atrophic. Extending mucus along with its mucus glands goes atrophic. Extending mucus production by the glands leads to the formal sample. First, It later gets infected during the time of cold snow. It comes in the chicken, quiet, in some birds, goats, hawks, white birds, and it goes in drug formation. The green chicken is dry and the place where the green chicken is not in the world. Now what do you think about the topic of the virus? As the chicken is removed, to remove the cold and remove from it, remove the chicken. Uh, the first can be removed by spraying the coat with alkaline solution or current solution. In other words, apply a pipe locally it has two things that the potassium iodide three to five milligram administered orally for the two days has to promote the immune system. The last about the latest. Keratosis pharyngitis. It is a benign condition caused by the hardy exertness on the surface of the pharyngeal The pharyngeal wall or the lingual fund appearing as a white or the yellow dot. These exertness are the result of hypertrophy or exertionization of epithelium. They are firmly adherent and cannot be wiped out. Disease may show spontaneous regression. The skin is have any special treatment as it for the reassurance to the patient. Thank you so much. It's about it's all about the chronic pharyngitis and the toxic wave pharyngitis and keratosis pharyngitis. Thank you so much. Subscribe our channel for the further videos.